Welcome to the third episode of Elementary Math Minutes. This section of the second grade place value unit focuses on locating and naming points on a number line and using place value to understand and determine a number that is 10 more, 10 less, 100 more, 100 less than a given number up to 1,200. For this section of the unit, you will need an open number line, digit cards, colored discs or counters, a number chart, base 10 blocks, and a place value chart. Let's start with an open number line. An open number line is a representation that can show the magnitude of numbers and the place value relationships between numbers when locating a given whole number. Number lines should be shown horizontally and also vertically. To demonstrate the magnitude of numbers, place numbers on the number line and note how the location of the number must be adjusted based on the position of the other numbers. So if I set my zero and a nine, if I put my five down, the position of my nine has to change based on the position of my five. Same thing when I show a vertical representation of my number line. If I put my zero here and my nine here, to place my five, the location of my nine has to change. After students have experienced positioning numbers on an open number line, move to a number line with benchmark numbers and tick marks. Remember, when reasoning on a number line, the position of zero may or may not be placed. The value of intervals on a number line may vary. However, intervals of twos, fives, and tens are common, as students are familiar with skip counting by these values. Here you see a number line with 250 and 260 positioned at the start and the end. When locating a number on a number line, students may use a counting strategy starting at 250 to determine the location. For example, when locating the point 255 on the number line, students may count up from 250 until they reach 255. 250, 251, 252, 253, 254, 255. For additional practice, this can be added to your thoughtful Thursday number lines routine. For this section, the focus will be patterns using 10 more, 10 less. Using a number chart, mark a number such as 78 with a colored counter. When determining the number that is 10 more or 10 less, be sure to remind students that the digit in the tens place increases by one when you move to the bottom. So the tens digit would increase by one 78 to 88 for 10 more. And when you move to the top, for 68, the digit in the tens place decreases by one. I can also model this with place value blocks. I have 78 modeled here. If I remove one, my tens place has decreased by one, leaving me a model of 68. If I add a 10, my tens place has increased one, showing me a model of 88. When modeling 100 more, 100 less, use base 10 blocks to represent 542. Five hundreds, four tens, two ones. Add 100 to the representation to model 100 more or 642. So increasing that hundreds place by one gives me a model of 642. To model 100 less, take away 100, modeling 442. So my 100 place has decreased by one, showing me a model of 442. Model 962 with the base 10 blocks. Adding 100 more will make 10 in the 100 place. Trading 10 100 is the same as 1,000. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundreds is the same as 1,000. So 100 more than 962 is 1,062. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope this episode has been helpful and would love for you to join us next time for Elementary Math Minutes. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.